everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Week's Nest DIY. In today's video, we're going to give a serious upgrade to some Dollar Tree signs. Taking signs that you can find at the Dollar Tree year round, even some leftover seasonal ones, we are going to make some really nice, easy to make decor and even a functional piece. So let's get started. In a recent video, I shared these outline pieces with the Dollar Tree houses. I'll be sure to link that down below. I'm going to do something similar with this triangle piece and a printable, which will be down in the description box below. So you first want to start off by carefully removing the backing. Some of these are easier than others. Once you get it removed and ripped or teared away, I'm going to take a Dollar Tree sanding sponge. These are my absolute favorite. I finally got a new one. I'm going to sand away any of the extra scrapbook paper or backing that was on there. And then I'm going to take that printable and then lay the insert over top just so I can make sure that everything is centered. And then I'm going to trace it. Like I mentioned, the printables will be down in the description box below, but let me know in the comments if you have difficulty with my printables, I've been trying to fix this by trying another way to link them, but it just always seems to be an issue. But you can always email me and I will email those files to you directly. It may take me a day or two, but once I check my email, I will send those to you. So lots of glue, glue that on. And then once I have that on and the glue kind of sets, I go back with that sanding sponge just to make sure that any of the scrapbook, pa not scrapbook paper, I'm so used to saying that, printable is not showing because once we now glue the frame back on, any of that white that may overhang the insert is just gonna, it's gonna poke out and look a little sloppy. So hot glue, not too much, and then add that insert back in and you have a really easy piece of decor upgrading these triangle signs. Let me know if you're like me and love these triangle signs. There's just something about them. Every time I find them, I snatch them up. So this is a really easy idea to use them. Next up, we're going to make a really easy sign using the Dollar Tree camera picture frame. I'm going to take some white paint and give this two coats. And once that is covered, we're just going to add a printable to this, which again will be in the description box below. So I'm going to cut this out and then I decided since this is a printable to just hot glue it, which you'll see me do in a second. Obviously you can add a picture to this and let me know in the comments what you would have done for this. Would you have left the camera as is? I like the shape of the camera. I just wanted something a little more toned down. That's why I chose to paint it white. Um, you can even like try to give it like the illusion with like some paint of an actual camera. Let me know what you would have done. I thought the white looked nice against the printable. Again, adding some hot glue and that printable will be in the description box below. And this kind of fits this little vignette I have here with some previous projects, which will be in the description box below. Next up is a really easy, fun, large piece of decor. Now in a recent video, I showed you some foam board DIYs and I took this 16 by 20 canvas from Five Below. You get two for $5, ripped off that canvas part, took some Dollar Tree foam board, and then I cut that and hot glued the frame. So that tutorial for more detailed, but that's pretty much like the spark notes of it. Who remembers spark notes? Even as an English major, like that was my lifeline. <laughs> um, anyway, so you just pick a printable. This is from a Etsy shop, which I can have down below. Um, and if you don't have a cutting machine, she offers PNG files. So you can also use that as well. And I just added this kind of rolling the transfer tape so it does not rip away the foam board. And I did trim that little bottom piece. It was a little bit too big, but this is a great way whether you have a cutting machine or a printable take some foam board in a frame no matter what the size you get a great piece of framed decor taking this round sign from dollar tree and a printable i'm going to make a wreath insert i absolutely love wreath inserts it's just a fun way to take a wreath that you may keep out year round but just switch out the sign in it so that it saves some money you can have a seasonal look or just a year-round look like this 
So once that is cut, we're going to glue that on. I took off that metal wording and sanded it down a bit. I decided to use the front of this because this had a little hanger on the top, which I thought would be perfect for a wreath insert, just tie a string. And yes, I did add a little bit of hot glue to that just so it stays on really well. Um, and I always print everything out on cardstock, so it's heavy enough to kind of withstand that. Regular paper probably wouldn't work. Um, I tied a little string on there. Now I have this with a more modern wreath that I shared not too long ago on my channel in a Pinterest dupe video, but this would look nice in a traditional wreath as well. You can just kind of tie it to it and you have a nice sign. For a more functional piece, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree sign. Let me know if you've seen this one. If you are into boho or modern farmhouse decor, this is like one of my favorite signs. The laundry bin sketch is cute, but we are going to paint over that because that's what we do here. Um, I did two coats of white paint and then I love these Dollar Tree hooks. They have a few different options in the colors of this style and then another style. These are really pretty, they're really sturdy, and they come with the hardware that you need. So I am going to use that instead of hot glue because I want this to be really sturdy, hold up probably like a dish towel if I put it in the kitchen or like a towel in the bathroom for a hand towel. You would probably even do like some like lightweight, like a scarf or a shirt. Once that's screwed on, you have a really pretty decorative functional hook. So Dollar Tree has been carrying these seasonal signs. This is an example of the Christmas one. I'm using the Easter one. But if you don't like that cutout, you can just cut that off. And then I, again, am going to use a SVG file from an Etsy shop, which I will have linked down below. But they also offer some printables. You can do a stencil. You can even glue some picture frames on here. Really anything. I know not everyone has a Cricut, so I always like to offer other options. Um, what I like about this is that if you just cut off that top part, you are able to have a piece of decor that is completely transformed and not seasonal. I love the addition of the trim also from Dollar Tree. And this is just a really fun way to make a sign your own and transform it from seasonal to year round. For a large piece of decor, I recently shared a large DIY video, and this is also going to be taking three leftover seasonal signs or any signs from Dollar Tree that you want to make into one large sign. staples and the hangers are taken off of them. We are going to attach these with a whole bunch of craft sticks and hot glue. Using the back as a front, so the front side is what we're going to add the popsicle sticks to. I always like to start out with a stick going horizontal and then I add a whole bunch of vertically on either side. We're going to do this for the top section as well as the bottom. do a lot with this. I'm going to tape off some sections. Um, I'm going to do the top white and then the middle part a um, like tan brown color. Um, if you're not sectioning off, you don't have to use the tape, but this is just an option in case you want to do some color blocking. Now I'm going to use a um, decal, but you can also use a stencil for this. And if you go on Pinterest, there are some awesome um, designs that you can make kind of faux stencil with some painter's tape. I'm going to do kind of like a um, geometric design. So there's lots of options for that. And I know I have seen in Michaels and Hobby Lobby stencils that are very similar to the design that I'm using. So again, lots of different options for this. Paint is dry. I'm going to add this. Now, I know someone's going to comment that where the MDF is poking out like those stripes, it's not centered to the decal that I use. I added the tape. I did that more to center the sign. I kind of forgot to put the decal or stencil in mind. So 
I'm not perfect, so <laughs> it doesn't bother me. But of course, like if you're using a stencil, you can always line that up underneath. Um, and that is it for this. Now I use a decal that was just a tad bigger. So I'm just making sure that everything is wrapped and smooth. And that is it. I love making large decor with Dollar Tree pieces that are smaller. It's definitely a fun challenge and really fun to do. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some ideas to turn some basic Dollar Tree signs into fun decor. As always, let me know which of these projects was your favorite. If you are not already subscribed, I definitely invite you to do so and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for spending some time in your day watching my channel. It means so much to me. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.